Today, I'm bringing you a full trophy guide and roadmap for Kronos Before the Ashes. This is the prequel game to Remnant from the Ashes released by THQ last week on the PlayStation Store. This is a pretty straightforward platinum trophy, if I do say so. Pretty decent game as well. I have another video about this up on the channel, which I should have released yesterday, probably up here or down here. You can check out my thoughts and opinions on Kronos. Otherwise, if you're after the platinum trophy, here's a full spoiler free and trophy guide explaining how you get the platinum trophy without ruining any of the story elements of the game for you. Let's dive in and take a look. Look at it. Hey guys, if you're a new viewer of the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make new videos like this every single day on the channel, taking a look at the latest PlayStation and trophy hunting news. Today's video is a spoiler-free trophy guide and roadmap from Kronos Before the Ashes. This is a third-person hack and slash sort of Souls-like adventure game that came out on the PlayStation Store at the, beginning of at the beginning of December 2020. The game is a pretty straightforward plat, I would say. It's about a 4 out of 10 in my personal opinion. I don't think there was too much difficult here. The, the one thing that I think is going to be challenging for people is the hard difficulty mode uh, the game does get significantly harder when you do ratchet up that difficulty to the max but I think that is going to affect some people especially if they play it on normal first which is kind of what I do recommend apart from that if you're familiar with third person action games or souls like games I think you're going to find this one pretty straightforward I, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble with it time to platinum is around 12 hours and I'm being generous with that I think you can probably do it in less than that especially if you time your playthroughs carefully if you don't need to do three playthroughs like I'm suggesting you do two you can definitely do it in less time uh, the game itself is actually pretty short. You can speed run through this game by missing tons of sections of the game as well on subsequent playthroughs, especially if you know what you're doing. So I think it's a pretty generous amount of time to platinum. There are no online trophies for this game, thank goodness. Uh, there are missable trophies. There's a single missable trophy in the game and it's a notable trophy of the game as well, uh, which we'll talk about in the steps to platinum shortly. There is a difficulty based trophy as well. You do need to play through the game on hard mode and then there are trophies for finishing the game on normal mode and any mode as well. Number of playthroughs, are, I think you can do it in two, probably do it in one if you're really, really good. But I've said two, but three is probably suggested and I'll explain why shortly. Uh, there's no chapter to select, but you can go back to older sections of the game so most of the stuff isn't missable except for one trophy and then there are no additional trophy stacks for this game platinum breakdown there are 40 trophies in this game 16 bronze 21 silvers and two golds a very very silver heavy trophy list this one uh this is split into nine non-missable story related trophies 16 collectible based trophies seven upgrade based trophies four completion trophies three misc and one platinum breaking these down even further the collectible based trophies are basically for getting each of the different weapons in the game every weapon in the game has a trophy tied to it when you find it so i'm considering those collectibles in this instance they are missable in the sense that they're not really missable because you can kind of backtrack to portions of the game and get any of them so you don't have to worry too much about them uh, but they are kind of collectibles there's also a number of collectibles for reading scrolls and books and things but you'll find more than enough of those in the game to meet the trophy requirements so i wouldn't worry too much about that there are a number of upgradable things as well stat points and stuff I don't think you can upgrade all your stats on a single playthrough. I do think it's going to require two because you do have to upgrade each of your base stats to level 30. And I just don't think that's physically possible in a single playthrough unless you just grind and grind and grind and grind. So you're going to probably need to do it on multiple playthroughs anyway. If you do it on multiple playthroughs, it's going to be easier. So I wouldn't stress too much about it. Uh, completion based, there are trophies for finishing the game on uh, normal, finishing the game normally, and then finishing the game on hard and getting less than three deaths. Uh, which is the other reason I'm suggesting an additional playthrough. Then there's a few misc trophies and then obviously the platinum. Now steps to platinum. I've, I've broken it into three playthrough steps. The first being playthrough game on normal difficulty. This is to get a feel for the game and enjoy it as I normally suggest. This way here, not only will it make all the collectible based stuff easier because you can kind of explore more. And in this playthrough I'd encourage you to just explore the game and the world and enjoy it and, and, and just get used to it because other playthroughs it's just gonna be harder to do these things on hard mode especially the enemies are very difficult so you kind of want to be avoiding exploring areas of the map that you're not familiar with and just keep powering through the main stuff that's required for the story whereas on this first playthrough you should go and explore and find everything that you need to do for the trophies and then you don't have to worry about it again in subsequent playthroughs the, the next two playthroughs are going to be a bit more dicey so it's worth doing this all now um, this also brings up our only missable trophy and our notable trophy for the game which is called too clever 
uh, which is for solving flautists' riddles. Now, there will be a portion of the game where you'll come across an NPC in the game who isn't aggressive, which is kind of infrequent. This guy here will ask you a bunch of riddles, or say a bunch of riddles, and you have to choose the answers to his riddles. Now, if you get them wrong, he will attack you and fight you. If you get them correct, then you'll be able to progress like normal, and you unlock this trophy. It's missable because if they attack you and you'll have to kill him, and progress you can't go back you can't you, there's nothing you can do if, if you get the riddles wrong but if you get them correct you'll earn the trophy so get them correct on the first playthrough and you won't need to worry about this i'm sure there's some guides online for what you need to do to solve this i think i think the first riddle was fire but go and have a look online they're actually it's not very hard to get wrong you'll probably get it correct first try without you know even needing a guide or anything like that but if you're worried about it um you can go and do that it's only really missable in the sense that if you get it wrong then obviously you have to do it again but most people i don't don't think we'll get it wrong on their first try anyway so you don't have to worry too much about it but it's good to have that knowledge and have that pointed out to you second playthrough i'd suggest playing through on heroic difficulty this is the hardest difficulty in the game this one here i would suggest just focusing on the main story elements and powering through the game on this difficulty don't worry too much about any of the side stuff or the side content uh, you should have done all that in the first playthrough as well now you can pair your three deaths trophy which is called old enough with this one as well if you want to try and pair those two but i i think the other one's probably easier on an easier difficulty as well it's for finishing the game in less than three deaths so just focus on hard difficulty play through it it's going to be challenging it's going to be brutal clean up those additional um upgrade trophies in here as well and, and then you should be done with this playthrough play through the game one more time in step three and this is for the old enough trophy play it on the easiest difficulty and do the same thing you did on hard just power straight through the game no deaths basically or three deaths i think you're allowed to get um, you'll know the points where you can really risk dying because of bosses and things like that so you'll know by this point the parts that you can kind of avoid and skip you'll know all the puzzles so this should be a very quick playthrough especially on easy because enemies will be a lot easier to defeat um, but after you've done these three playthroughs essentially you should have the platinum at this point uh, if you've missed the riddle trophy you can get that in subsequent playthroughs as well if you missed it on your first one and then any of the upgrade stuff that you may have missed in previous playthroughs too you should be able to clean up at this point but uh, once you've done all that you should have the platinum trophy there shouldn't be too much more that would be uh that would be stopping you from earning it i think the only two things really to point out is the the old enough trophy which is for not dying three times um that is quite challenging it is probably one of the harder trophies in the game and then obviously the immiscible trophy for solving the riddles as well though they're probably the only two things that are worth mentioning here i mean the hard mode is, is probably a little bit challenging as well especially if you're not you know familiar with dark souls games um, but that is the platinum trophy guide for chronos before the ashes let me know if you guys are going to be going for this platinum trophy yourselves and uh, let me know in the comment section down below i'm very curious to hear if you had any luck with this platinum if you decided to go for it if you didn't decide to go for it and uh, and we never talk about it thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down and i'll see all of you in the next video bye for now